Today I would like to introduce to you Pentable. Pentable is our approach of creating a workplace with an interactive tabletop. Now, a workplace with a digital tabletop is nothing new, but our setup has incorporated a couple of uh, very unique features. Uh, one of them, for instance, is that it uses standard PC hardware, so we here have an LCD screen, a keyboard and a mouse, and we're not replacing those with a digital tabletop. Uh, the other thing is that while uh, this desktop here looks very tidy for my standards, it's actually quite cluttered uh, if you're used to other digital tabletops. So we have a coffee cup, some notes, uh, and our interfaces to the computer still on the table. And uh, what we, or what our special approach about this project is, is that we are trying to incorporate all this messiness on the table into our user interface. We have created some custom metaphors to support uh, objects on the table, and we would like to show you some of these. Uh, just a quick overview over the project. Um, we have running Microsoft Windows on the LCD screen, so I can use this like a regular computer. And the tabletop basically acts as what the dashboard is in Windows Vista. So here we have an extended workspace that allows us to take, for instance, little notes. And um, draw on them. And then you could also send those notes to Microsoft OneNote. Uh, here we have a little media player control. This media player control allows us to start tracks in iTunes and uh, skip, skip to the next track. We can also decrease and increase volume. So basically all the interface elements on the table here are linked to legacy software running on the LCD screen. And the tabletop is not my primary input device, it's more like a supported, supportive uh, extended workspace. Now, here you can see a section of the table, and this is basically very similar to a regular office workplace setup. So, I got various items on the table, and well, what's not so typical is that I can draw on the table surface with my pen. Now, what I can do is I can create buttons that are uh, dynamically linked to program functionality on my LCD screen. So, for instance, here I am drawing a little round button which should be a play button for a media player. And I'm putting up its uh, control menu I say media player and now I can select a choice. Now what's special about these menus that you're seeing here is that uh, they are aligned with user control paths. That means that um, I can basically say where my menu should go and uh, this allows me to work even on very uh, messy tables full of objects. Otherwise if I would have a pop-up menu here it might be displayed over the keyboard down here or if I have a Pi menu it sh could be displayed on top of the mobile phone here and uh, because of this, uh, these restrictions such menus uh, don't really work on a messy tabletop surface but uh, these user controlled menus I can basically define myself and that way I can avoid collisions with objects on the table now Let's just select play here, and the button is playing. Well, I might want to, I don't know, let's delete this button again. I want a nicer one. And uh, maybe here's a media player uh, volume up button. So I can make it a little louder. Well, up here I already have a pause button, so I'm going to pause everything, but you can see uh, these are the buttons and what's also special is the mode switching technique 
You see, uh, we differentiate between interacting with the table surface, for instance, using the buttons, and between uh, creating an interface on the table, which means getting up the uh, control menu, the context menu for the pen. And I get the context menu by pressing the control and then tapping onto the item. If I just tap on it, it uses the item. Well, and that's about it. Uh, we have incorporated a few more features. Like, for instance, I can draw a quick note. And again, the note doesn't have to be rectangular. It can have any shape. Well, this shape is some, sort of awkward, so I'll, I'll just draw another one. And I uh, say quick note here. And then I can draw something nice. And I can later on send what I've drawn to the desktop again. Now you see it has appeared up here in, in OneNote and I can use it, uh, it's vector graphics, I can use it with any other program that I want to later on in Windows. So that's a key concept of the table, that everything should be uh, linked together, the whole program functionality. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>